Whether you're working in JavaScript or TypeScript, VS Code can help you write JS doc comments to annotate your code. In this JavaScript file, for example, we might want to add a comment to the clamp function here. They would both document what this function is doing, the parameters that it takes, and then optionally the types of those parameters so that if we enable type checking, VS Code could help catch those errors where we're passing in unexpected types. Now to create a JS doc comment, all I need to do is go before this function and then type slash star star. You can see that I have a suggestion that's showing up for JS doc comment. I'll just accept that suggestion. And now VS Code has filled in a scaffold that is showing the JS doc comment here. So you can see it's generated entries for each of the parameter values. And this is just a snippet so we can go and fill in each of the individual sections of this now. The first one that is asking for is the type of the parameter or the first parameter here. So I'm going to say number. The star is indicating that it takes any parameter, but we want to actually have a more explicit type here. Then I'll hit tab to go to the next tab stop. And now I can fill in a description for this parameter. So I actually could say the value to clamp. I'll hit tab again. Now I'm filling in the type of the second parameter. So I'll say number again, hit tab twice more fill in the type of the third parameter, and then twice more, and fill in a description of the function itself here at the top. So I say clamp a value. It's not the best description, but at least we have something now. And if I go and I hover over the clamp function at this point, you can see that all of our uh, annotations that we filled in now are actually showing up. And in the function signature itself, it has actually been updated to now take numbers instead of any values as it was taking before. Now, because we filled in these types and we have type checking enabled in this JavaScript file as well, you can see that it has actually caught an error down here. So in the clamp function, you can see that it, there's an error being reported, and that is saying that a string is being passed in when we actually expected a number. So I should go in here and actually convert this to be a normal string instead, and now this is correct. Now you can also generate JS doc comments in TypeScript files. The only difference is that it will not generate the JS doc types like this because all of the types are specified inline instead, but you can still use this to document your code and document the parameters. So that's a quick look at how VS Code can help you generate JS doc comments. These comments are useful for both documenting your code, and in JavaScript files, you can also use them to add type annotations so that VS Code can type check your code base.